Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A11 and today I'll show you how you can set up your device for the first time. So when you boot it up for the very first time you'll be presented with the same screen right here where it shows you basically a welcoming page in every language. Uh, so we're gonna select start and find your desired language from the list right here. Now, God forbid I would ever want to be considered like a, like I'm from UK, so let's change it to anything else. You know what, I prefer South Africa, honestly, or Philippines, that's nicer. Um, I like, you know, privacy. Anyway, moving on. Actually, going back here, I do want to point out one thing. I don't know if this will have much of an impact or not, but depending on which region you might choose right here, like for instance, New Zealand, South Africa, UK, United States, this device could be subject to different kind of um, regulations in these regions. So just to kind of give you an example, with Apple being forced to open up their app store to third party stores, uh, that's basically forced by European Union. Well, at this point, I believe it's also by US, to be honest, after Tim Sweeney lawsuit. Uh, but wherever they are not forced to do this, they won't because it's taking revenue from their own platform. So uh, just know that whatever you select right here, it might be uh, applying to whatever region you're lying, uh, living in, in terms of like what the laws are there. So if you live somewhere where you don't have very um, friendly laws uh, to you as a consumer and it's prioritizing corporations like US, uh, then maybe you might want to select some other region, for instance, uh, Philippines or something else where it might be a bit better. So just putting that out there, I never really got the chance to check it because at this point, I, I don't think there's any any laws that are very separate that are in effect or that corporations are respecting uh, at this point uh, to check if this is the case. But once it is, I obviously will che check it out. Anyway, so let's move on. And here we have the for your review and the user license agreement. And that's the only thing that we need to agree to. Under no circumstance should you ever agree to optional things. Why give corporations more data and privileges than they already have. I'm gonna probably take them away anyway by forced arbitration anyways. So till then, I don't agree to any of this. Anyway, moving on, we have uh, easy setup with another device. So if you have a, another device, like for instance, uh, another Samsung, you'll get a pop-up like this on your screen. Set up Galaxy Tab A11 and I can select set up. Now this will basically move over data that is on the cloud to this device, which makes this as a easy setup absolutely useless. Um, because you can connect, for instance, cable to your tablet and to your device and use the uh, smart switch application to move over all the data, not just the one that is on the cloud. Um, so that's probably going to be a better option, but you would have to do that later on after the setup. Anyway, we're going to select setup manually, at least I am. And here we have the Wi-Fi connection page. Now I can skip this, as you can see, but in your case, you will not be able to skip this. Uh, first setup for most Samsung devices, not all, is going to force you to connect to Wi-Fi. And it seems like this is uh, associated with the device having a SIM card support, as this one does. It's forced, it would typically force you to connect to network. Now, because this device was reset just a moment ago and already went through the first initial setup, I don't need to connect to network, so I can actually skip it. Now, I do want to also talk about the pop-up right here, so skip a Wi-Fi setup, so connect to the internet, that's what we want to be able to do, install software updates and use device protection features. Now, this is new Samsung garbage that they put on here, and it's absolute load of shit. Um, Half of this is uh, just nothingness, the other half is just lies. So connect to network. Wow, without network, I won't be able to have network. Gee, wow, shit, tell me more. Uh, another thing is install software updates. Cool, that's um, 
that's an informative uh, option right here, which is fine. And then use device protection features. Now that's a bullshit. That, that's just absolute bullshit and I'm gonna prove it. Now what it actually supposed to tell you is that date and time won't be set automatically. Uh, you won't be able to get software updates. Uh, and uh, there was one more. Software updates. Oh, and log into Google account. Um, which none of these are present here because Samsung decided to substitute the actual useful information with their load of shit. Screw you. Know your place, trash. Anyway, here's the date and time, which they obviously didn't mention. Which is clearly showing up because it's not set automatically. Great. So, in here you can customize this if it's incorrect. And then move on to the next page. Which is, oh wow, would you look at that? Protect your tablet. Well, I thought that I can't use protection on my device. Let's not do this one. I'm going to do pattern. Are you feeling okay there, Samsung? It looks like you are going to allow me to select a protection. Oh. <gasps> wow, my device is protected, even though it's supposedly not supposed to be without internet connection. Well, that seems like absolute load of bullshit that you told before. Not even sure how is this legal, to be completely honest. Because it's a literal blatant misinformation through the setup process, which I just showed you is load. Uh, now, moving on, we have Google services. We have things like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Now, as you've seen, I am primarily going through this in a way that uh, shares almost no data uh, right now or tries not to. So I do want to talk about this one. Uh, we can turn all of these off. But it's Google. Let's not kid ourselves and believe that this actually does absolutely anything. If it did, then uh, as an example, criminals that take their phones while they're basically without a SIM card, without an internet connection, without uh, localization, still manage to be found because the devices, even though you turned off some of the things, are still broadcasting your signal and connecting to other devices um, and basically using those other devices that have that enabled to uh, triangulate where you are located with that device, even though everything supposedly is turned off. And if we look at here, localization or location, it uses things like GPS and Wi-Fi. Uh, we can also locate through Bluetooth connections, uh, through basically set antennas, uh, like, you know, cell cellular antennas and other things. So this right here, this option is kind of, uh, you know, omission of truth in reality because use location i mean yeah uh, cool we don't know where you exactly are using gps but we know where you are using bluetooth or nearby devices or several other ways which they don't mention anyway uh, let's move on come on there we go. Uh, oh, another great thing for Samsung. This is a new feature here. Uh, if I can even call that a feature. The first one at the very top is the uh, auto blocker. Now it should be called app blocker, more mm, probably correctly named. As uh, one of the things that it does is prevents installation of unknown source applications, aka applications that you downloaded yourself from whatever source you decided to that is outside of Play Store or the Samsung Store. Now, in here, they're trying to uh, claim like, oh, it blocks apps from unverified sources, which that's one of the things, but then also blocks uh, commands by USB cable, blocks malware images and messaging apps and blocks non-official software updates. Now, I sure shit have never encountered any of these. So this is just kind of a solution to a problem that at least to me never existed. Now, if you manage to install a software update, that wasn't malware because I don't know where you were installing it from, then it sounds like a you problem, to be completely honest. Because you can just navigate into the settings and look for updates in there. So if you're doing this some other way, uh, natural selection at its finest, I would say. Uh, even though it's not really doing its job here fully. Uh, if we take a look at other ones, black malware images from messaging apps, uh, now, this seems like uh, messaging applications problems and also uh, you problem if you're opening up some random images that have 
malware in them. And I'm not even sure how that is possible. Uh, but that's something that I would believe application messaging app should be able to prevent. That's one of the things that I believe it, it should be responsible for. And the last one is the uh, commands by USB cable. Now this one, I will say, could be useful as I know that, for instance, some AliExpress cables come with some chips in them that do do some nefarious things. Uh, but let's be honest, you don't usually use random cables uh, from anywhere. At least I personally don't, so this isn't necessarily my kind of problem. And I have never had an ADB command be placed on my device without me actually doing it myself. So I'll turn that off. And I also want to mention that this while talking about uh, going back to the unverified sources. Samsung wants to basically block that no matter what. So um, here we can turn that off. And there was already pro protection against this as the option that would usually pop up when you try to install an application from unverified source that you can't till you turn that feature off, right? And it would redirect you and you could easily turn that off. With the app, uh, app block, auto blocker, uh, it actually doesn't pop it up. You need to navigate manually to the settings, find this garbage and turn it off yourself. Otherwise you can't install the application. It doesn't give you any kind of pop up like, oh, uh, turn off uh, auto blocker. And here is, uh, just click this button to do this. Uh, so no, you have to do it yourself. And Google wants to completely remove the ability for you to install third party APKs uh, that are unsigned. Now, they're doing this again uh, as a pretext of uh, protecting the users because they're so graceful. And there's so many malicious applications out there, even in our Play Store, which we decided not to talk about or even uh, fix, uh, because the applications that you're installing are interfering with our ways of making money. Uh, so instead of uh, telling you that, you know, there are malicious applications and to prevent that, we're going to give you anti-malware uh, or like antivirus no 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 we're just going to remove your ability to install them because that's going to make us money number one you will be forced to download applications from verified sources and every developer that wants to have a verified application will need to pay us money shit it's kind of funny how you decided to solve a, a malware problem by not solving it and then making even more money on top of that so Utilize uh, the ability to install third-party APKs as far as you as far as you can and going back to the first kind of page with the region This might be the part where if European Union decides to uh, just kind of go balls deep dry in there uh, and uh, Just tell Google no, you're doing some absolutely disgusting shit um, They will be forced to undo this uh, but most likely if that comes to fruition this would only apply to most likely only europe which europe is more user friendly that's why i'm pointing that out um in this case selecting any kind of country in europe might give you the ability to install third-party apks without that bullshit signature even outside of european union so uh continuing on uh, now, with all of that explained, we can now move over to uh, the boring stuff like the theme, light and dark mode. Choose whichever one you want. And s moving on to the next page, we have the option to probably sign into an account. Oh no, never mind. We're all set up. So there we go. Now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.